YouTube, welcome back once again. As always, I'm Pete Times Speed and Co. Right back on the channel with more Sonic Gaming as we are diving into Chemical Plant Zone in Sonic 2. We uh, did a fairly decent run for Emerald, Emerald Hill. I was so close to getting that last Emerald, but as always, uh, I tricked myself into thinking I could do it. And I got so full of confidence that unfortunately... Uh, we literally just messed it up. So, uh, now unfortunately, we've got to go through stuff that's slightly trickier. And, uh, try to keep our rings and find star posts which are a little bit more obstacle entwined. Um, it's nice to just sit down and play, is it fair to say one of the old classics? I guess it, I guess it is really, isn't it? I'm sure we all have that Sonic game that we like to sit down and play. Mine is generally CD for the most part. Um, CD to me is like a, a very second nature game. Wow, I really did not find a single star post. But it does mean that we are back to being uh, really quick on the levels. Uh, especially as there, unlike Sonic 1, there is no three acts except for Metropolis. But as we get to Metropolis, the uh, levels become, you know, one act after that. So you've got your Sky Chase, you've got your Wing Fortress, and then you eat Death Egg. So uh, that kind of makes up for it in a little way, I guess. Now, while I don't think you're going to see a, um, uh, a speedrunning clinic here, we are going to try our very best and clear as quickly as we can uh, with as much ease as physically possible, I'd want to say. But um, for that, we just need to find ourselves a single star post and try again. Uh, because I want that 7th Emerald. Uh, if there's anything to me that I really enjoy doing, it's it's always, like, getting all of the Emeralds. Uh, down here for a star post, I think. I think there's one further up that we could have gone as well, but, eh. Okay. As always, just like last time, uh, we got to try and push ourselves to get as many rings earlier on as possible. Oh, that's not a good start. Because uh, the more rings we get here, uh, the less we honestly need to uh, worry about uh, later on. Which is, uh, again, when it comes to the third part, generally the, the biggest thing. I feel like I missed so many rings in, in in comparison to our last time. Oh, for... I missed the first two last time as well. Okay, I think we got to about where we were. So we got 18 rings to get. We've got three mine placements to miss. And, you know, let's just see how well we can do. I've, I've, you've got to be very careful because I know that there are just um, portions where you can literally get caught out. And sometimes it's easier to just... Uh, do the halves. Oh god, I need four. I did it. Oh, we did it. 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 <laughs> Only just though. It's not first time. Uh, I would have been much more impressed with it if I'd done it all in Emerald Hill, but um, it will make certain bosses a lot easier because heaven knows that. Um, now Sonic can change into Super Sonic. Right. 
fuck? Uh, I... I will try to avoid uh, double jumping where I can uh, and avoid going super. Uh, if only to not detract from, you know, level music so much and just have one repeating beat for the rest of eternity. I'm still proud I can do that sort of thing though. That's that's always cool to me. I mean we've got a boss coming up anyway, so When it comes to this sort of thing, what are your all's favourite uh, kind of Sonic games? I know a lot of people just prefer like Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and I think I think Sonic and Knuckles is realistically the kind of um, uh, the pinnacle for like not so much level design, but I don't want to say it's the pinnacle for level design per se, but the colours are definitely a lot sharper when it comes to like three and knuckles than it is like most other games. Nice. We beat it without going super. I will try not to go super because it is just boring, but it will make it slightly entertaining. And to be completely honest, there are some really good tracks that I really don't listen to that much, just because I go super for everything. And you know, specifically for the most part, because I think <laughs> the last couple of times I've really been playing Sonic 2 has just been because uh, I've just been racing the game. and. So, because of that, you don't really see uh, much of the game. But, there we go. Like, I could just do this. Like, really. I just... I mean, it, it will blitz the levels. And I think we'll do it probably uh, Metropolis and Sky Fortress are probably definitely what we're going to be doing there. but um, yeah we'll see uh, as you can hear in the background um, I'm having a, a wild time living, <laughs> living where I am right now um, there has been a lot of random police activity well emergency activity is what I should say um There's just been a lot going on, and I don't really know why. Uh, it's just happening, I guess. Uh oh, I saw that coming a mile off, and I, but I couldn't make a simple jump. Uh oh, down we go. Uh, sure. Oh no! 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 I mean, sure, I didn't even realise that room was there. That's, uh, news to me. I'll be honest with you. Right. Well, definitely, uh, no super here, at least. But, again, I can't remember where I learned this little trick. I know, I definitely know I did it as a child. Um, but I know that there's a lot of people who didn't know that you could do that trick. And I do like playing in 4x3 just for... Um, I know that in widescreen they try to make that slightly difficult. Yeah. Right, but well that is going to be the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Pete Time Screen Nethercoat from Project Phoenix Productions. This has been Sonic the Hedgehog 2. We'll be back with Casino Night Zone next time. Until then, as always, take care, stay safe, play more games.